that could help for diabetes and treatment decision in exudative AMD. And uh, here are all those uh, five criteria, shape, branching pattern, anastomosis, vessel sternity, and uh, halo. And peri-regional at presentation, the OCT analysis showed that OCT versus traditional retinal imaging reached a very important agreement, 93.8% for 75 eyes out of 80, with a very high picture observer agreement in both imaging analysis. And the region was identified as active in 70 the analysis of the branching water pattern showed a very clear confirmation, as you can see with these numbers, very near for 100% of The first statistical approach, made with the help of Dr. Marfa showed that the sensitivity was 94.89%. This is near the absolute value. The specificity was also very high in 85% and with a predictive positive value of 94% uh, and negative predictive value of 85%, which are very convincing data. And we have also noted that the positive likelihood ratio is 6.64 and negative likelihood ratio was 0.05. And the relative risk is 112 this value indicates that the test is 110 times better when it is positive compared to the case when it is negative. The purpose of our recent study was to describe and analyze the results of OCT angiography finding based on these activity criteria in treatment naive exudative AMD before and after EGF trap injection during three months and up to one year. And again, during the, uh, this follow-up post treatment, we uh, analyzed a series of 60 eyes with different types of coronal neovascularization, conventional multimodal imaging compared to spectralist OCT. During follow-up, we had uh, to decide for retreatment decision after the induction phase established on microstructural analysis showing evidence of real intra observability And the decision was based on these five activity criteria to assess the treatment-induced changes in CMU morphology. And these changes The changes in morphology were correlated with the post treatment status of the region. In this example, above the RPD, we have the CFAM, the tiny vessels, anastomosis and peripheral arcade, and below the RPD, we have the CFAM type of CN2, type 1 CMD. This was an active vision, and after treatment, the lesion became quiescent without evidence of CMD and the C type showed only large joint dead trees and no evidences of anastomosis, no peripheral arcades. Uh, in the second case, we can see again, before treatment, the lesion is still active with numerous tiny vessels, anastomosis, peripheral arcade, and the C fan with extensive and richly anastomosis. CMD. And uh, after treatment, the lesion is still active with still persistent mm -hmm. vessels, anastomosis, RPA, but the less extended CPAN type 1 CMD. The result of this analysis showed a decrease in the amount of screen but residual exudative reaction in 30% of cases. And after the induction phase of VGF treatment, with track treatment, the morphological analysis of CMP feature and OCTAs 
chose different champions. You can see that the champions are uh, very important in branching pattern, anastomosis and vessel stability, and the figures are very efficient. In active vision, persistent tiny vessels were observed in 75% of the cases and anastomosis in 60% of the cases. And the residual activity of CMB was associated with peripheral activity in 100% of cases. A lesion was defined as still active with a C fan shaped lesion only in 33% of cases, but with anastomosis in 60, there's a peripheral activity in 100% of cases and create lesion of payload only in 20% of cases. Then uh, we have the statistical analysis again, inter-observer and reproducibility 95%, sensibility 94, specificity 85, odd values in 6.54, and multifactorial analysis shows maximum for branching criteria per dimensional of width. The approximation of Rao is significant and the area under the code is 0.975, highly significant but near for the maximum and the visualization of the performance and sensitivity of the specificity. Then we can conclude that OCTA is a useful technology providing information from the single scale scan from for non intense monitoring of extruded DMG because both functional and morphological. And the presence, the presence of a peripheral artery of tiny vessel and anastomosis. Seem highly correlated to the active status of the CMD region and simultaneous monitoring based on OCTA activity criteria and structural activity finding. We have for the dynamics of CMD for guiding decision treatment, for monitoring the evolution and assessing the response of treatment. Thank you.